Good morning guys, this is Matt with Mix Coach here. We are going to look today at a couple of the new releases from the T-Rex processing from IK Multimedia. Um, they were gracious enough to uh, give me some credits to try out some of the new uh, guys they've released. And here's one of them right now. This is the emulation of the Echoplex EP3 tape delay. And also this window. We'll be looking at one of the new channel strips, the one of their SSL emulations. As you'll see, they've redone the interface from the original, which I mean they also have. If you saw the original release of close this guy. I was comparing. This one right here, the other G series, uh, the E channel. The interface looked crazy weird at first. If anyone remembers it at all, this looks much better. It looks much more like a, a rec unit, actually. And I definitely dig this way more than the other one. But that doesn't matter. How it sounds is what matters. So we'll go ahead and take a uh, little sample listen. This is just a little, um, you'll notice over here there's a bunch of tracks. This, this was a full production and this is going to be a uh, scaled back version. We're going to do two versions of it and I decided I would use this for the example. But let's just go ahead and take a little listen. kind of get an idea for the vibe. Now the piano was recorded really well so I really didn't have to do much to it so this may be a bad example but you notice I just did a little high pass filtering just a touch. I'm not big on compression on pianos. I love hearing the natural frequency response but on this I just wanted to bring out some of the attack more on some of the stuff he did and it it totally did the job. It has that SSL punch. If you may find a better example in the song where you can really just hear the attack better. Let's play it from about here. And listen to the attack. I'll do before and after. time by passing now I'll keep going and I'll, I'll punch it in and out here just brought that you know you really heard the attack and that's that's just I love it 
it's not you don't get that overhyped, over <coughs> compressed feel with it. And as for the EQ, I mean, like I said, this one, this piano did not need it. It was recorded very well. It was a uh, Steinway. I forgot what mics were on it, um, but you know, I, I, you can really push the top in <coughs> if you want. Excuse me. And it's you know you don't you just don't get that overhyped sound. Here we'll we'll, we'll push some of the top in. As you can hear, you know, you can push that pretty hard without getting that real just brittle, brash kind of sound. Uh, the low <coughs> lows are really full too. really just it's it's nice you know it's really added I mean it's already a warm piano but you notice it really didn't add a lot of mud just excellent stuff you know uh, it's set up like if you look at it like most SSLs you got your high and low pass filter built-in sidechain for it you can do an EQ sidechain this is your pre and post EQ you got your expander gate and right here you can change between the black and brown knob series of the EQ. Nice feature. Of course, you know, on your low and high you can change it between P uh, a bell and, and shelf. Typical stuff here. Um, I do like this feature that you, know, you won't find on much of the other ones where you can go between soft and hard knee if need be, if you want a little bit more aggressive compression. And I really like this, where you have the in and out next to each other with the in and out meter actually next to one another. I like that a lot more than the, the you having to flip between input output like on the Wave series. Now this one eats up a little more uh, CPU, but it's because it's being oversampled. You can change it to a low latency mode, which will drop the latency, and it'll drop the CPU usage to a minimum at the sacrifice of you know not quite as a clean sound so totally depends on your resources now let's have a quick look at this guy I'm totally loving and digging this delay it's just so rich and warm full sounding of a delay let's just go over the features real quick though um, here you got an input level you can set volume sustain up here this guy here you can actually grab it and move it and change your delay times you can check your in and out signals this turns the unit on and off as you'll see it'll start and stop up there you can sync it or do your own thing set your time in milliseconds Also down here in the preference, you can opt to do a 50 hertz or 60 hertz ground hum. And then right behind this little guy, here's some of the magic. You can adjust your wild flutter. You can actually adjust. Let's see, let me get to where it will Should be able to hear this. You can actually adjust the the original unit noise that they emulated. Just mix a little bit of that in. Tape wear. And then you can adjust recording levels. And then right here, this is stereo mode, but you can do an A, B, and, and, and do individual sides with your volume and sustain. I just leave it in stereo right now. 
for this example. But let's have a listen. I, mean, I don't know if it's just me or what, but I just I feel like that delay has a lot of body to it, a lot of character, which I mean, you typically you probably don't think of a delay as you know much else of anything but a delay, but you know, delays can can sound brittle and sterile. They they can, and with this unit, it's just you hear every little nuance, and it's just it's awesome. I love it. Let's uh, go to another example. And we'll go to the turn. And I'll try to just over exaggerate it a little bit. I'm carving a little bit of the top and bottom out with an EQ. I love it. This this guy's my new favorite for delays, for sure. Now, in another video, I'm going to cover the new bus compressor. Since this was just really just soft, light stuff, I typically don't like to put much bus compression on anything that would be like this, that you want to be dynamic and to let breathe. So I'll, I'll find a better example for that and cover it in another video. But as far as their new SSL emulations go for the channel strips and then for the echo plugs here, uh, just, it's, it's awesome. I'm, I'm loving them. And if if you're if you've never tried any of the IK stuff, I highly recommend it. And if you do have it, go spend money because it's just they're they're I love them, I love them. It's just good stuff. And I don't know if there's anything I didn't cover on any of these units. Well, yeah, we'll we'll check this out. You can do mid side or you know left left right stereo processing on this, which is always nice. Yeah, um, I highly recommend you guys go and, and, and try these out, give them a test run, see what you think, because I think they sound great. And we'll see you here in a couple of days with uh, a review of the bus compressor. Alright guys.